Coming up on Connections, it's a pleasure to be joined by poet and professor Allison Joseph. She's authored six poetry collections, edits the Crab Orchard Review, a national journal of literary works, and directs the Young Writers Workshop, an annual summer creative writing workshop for high school age writers. She visited Lexington as a speaker for the Kentucky Women Writers Conference, and we're glad that she stopped by our studios for a little bit to talk about her poetry. She reads a little bit. Of course, you have to have you read. That would be an insult not to have you do that. Allison, if you would describe your po poetry and your approach to writing. My poetry is accessible, it's funny, it's humane, and I'll write about anything. <laughs> so give us a, a title of something quirky and something more uh, serious or sublime. Oh, well, quirky. I wrote an ode to my sandals. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and when you mean anything and everything, you mean exactly. anything and everything. Exactly. Anything that comes before your vision, you mm -hmm. think that's a word. And I think maybe that's something that people could understand when you talk about accessibility, that mm -hmm. it doesn't always have to be deep and profound mm -hmm. and intellectual, mm -hmm. that it can be quirky and mm -hmm. just everyday routine kind of things mm -hmm. that really provoke a funny and inspiring poem. Are you finding that the younger generation latches on to that idea better than us older stogies? I think so. I think if you plant that seed that poetry can be about anything, particularly with the really young ones, uh -huh. with the babies, they'll write about their toes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's still a great word. Yeah. Who do you admire who's in this field and in literary art? Oh, so many people. Uh, well, I was mentioning Gwendolyn Brooks earlier, yeah. even though she's passed, uh, because she had such a spirit of community and building amongst people. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, poets as activists, I mean, mm -hmm. they seem to be synonymous mm -hmm. identities that you rarely have a poet who's not very uh, involved in community engagement and right. building. It seems to be that's just a part yeah. of that being in spirit. A lot of poets, n n not all, but a lot of poets are passionate people and they have causes mm -hmm. and they have things that they want to see. Uh, my cause has been making sure that people who want access to poetry continue to have it, that it's democratized. Yes, yes. And we'll talk a lot about what makes good poetry and what inspires a no generation of poets coming up on Connections Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time on KET2, Sunday at 1.30 Eastern Time on KET The Main Channel, and you can watch online anytime after that at KET.org slash connections. I hope you'll join us.